right, and here's the Transformer Subscription Service 5.0 Pretender Megatron and Space Warp. And right off the bat, this is, like I said, uh, as much as I love this little Prime uh, here, one of the other reasons that I bought this set was because here, finally, um, granted in a different color scheme with a Decepticon logo on it, finally the Grand Max Pretender Shell. I have wanted to hunt down just the Pretender Shell for Grand Max for a long time just so I could use it with my Fort Max. Um, and then they had the Encore Fortress Maximus came out, and everybody was kind of speculating, like, oh, maybe we'll get a Grand Max reissue. Maybe we'll get a Brave Max reissue. Which never came to pass. Um, so, it, it especially, like, uh, maybe, I thought maybe the Pretender mold had been lost, but clearly it hasn't, because here we go. Um, so, that's kind of exciting. And it's a Megatron now, and we'll show off here the inside. Now, originally, pr the prototypes and pictures that we saw showed this coming with the original little Cerebro sword, or the sword and we and pistol that you get with Fort Max. I think, the, I think the Encore has it, so you can use those if you use this with your Fort Max. Uh, you have to put a little Autobot symbol over the Decepticon symbol. But but instead, these are actually some Titans Return weapons. I believe this is the sword that came with uh, Alpha Trion. Um, or, or maybe this is the sword that came with uh, Laser Optimus. It's one of the Titans Return swords. And then you've got a Sentinel Prime rifle. Doesn't bother me, really, um, because... I, I wasn't super concerned with the weapons themselves, um, and they look okay in the hands of the of the shell. So, but uh, I know that that was a sticking point for some people when it was revealed that these were not the originals. Like I said, I don't mind it so much. So we'll take those out. Now he doesn't have as much articulation as Optimus Prime did. He's got the standard pretender. Hey, my arms go up and down. Hooray! They're hollow on the bottom. I <laughs> don't know what that has to do with anything, but there you go. He's got a big old backpack because, again, originally he was meant to house Cerebros or whatever Grand Max's version of Cerebros was. I admit I'm not super up on that that particular iteration of the character. But yeah, so there's the shell. That's really all there is to it. And he splits in half here. And out of the shell comes Megatron and Space Warp. Now, Space Warp, as you can see, again, same kind of fitment issue that... Uh, IQ did. It comes with this little replica or like you know, thing reminiscent of Megatron's old silver rifle gun that came with G1 Megatron. And there's a couple pegs here that are intended to peg into the back of Space Warp and hold this whole assembly together inside the Pretender shell. And it holds okay. Um, it does not take much like a... It's enough to hold him up there, but like you touch it and he falls off. Um... There's just enough friction to hold it in place. I may put some floor polish on those tabs. Because um, the minute you start to get into the Pretender shell itself, it doesn't take a whole lot to knock that thing loose. So it's possible if you're really careful, but see, it, it, it tends to just kind of fall off on its own. Um, again, you're inside the Pretender shell and you're kind of shoving this in there, so he's not going to fall out or anything. But it would be nice if this latched on a little, t more, a little more tightly to the smaller figure. But that's the configuration you get him to fit inside the pretender shell. It's a little weird. But this just unclips from the chest. And I thought maybe these were, were, would be almost 5mm pegs so you could have characters hold it, but they're not. Although they're actually, those are actually smaller. Hand oh, no, they're not. Okay. Yeah, they, they are bigger around than standard pegs. If these been more, like, if you could at least hold that as a weapon, that would have been cool. But it's just a little chest plate thing, and you can see uh, that it does, in this little slot right here, it kind of slides right in, and that's how it sits inside the, uh, the Pretender shell itself. And in case you were wondering, you can, in fact, you have to take Cerebros off, or not Cerebros, Spike off, but you can, in fact, angle the legs this way and slide this on in. Is it this way? That's the way it goes in. Oh, here we go, like this. Angle the legs back, stick this guy in here, and then close it. Yeah, you have to rotate the legs back like that. So they kind of fit into those slots. And then you, you can, if you want, store Cerebros inside the shell. So yeah, in case you were wondering, does in fact hide up in there. 
on to the actual character this is intended to be, Pretender Megatron. Go ahead and snap that together. We'll give him his weapons back. And Megatron is the little Legends Megatron that we got a while back. Uh, repainted to have a G2 color scheme. And I was a little disappointed with that we got the uh, the green and purple version from uh, in the coat in the GI Joe set, and it was translucent. I would have loved for this one to have been a smaller, non-translucent or non-transparent green tank with the purple splotches on it. But this is also, I think, this is an alternate deco that was never used for the uh, G2 Hero Megatron, the little foam dart launching one. So I'll accept it. Um, <laughs> not that I have much of a choice. But it would have been cooler if this had been a, a non-transparent uh, green and purple tank. And we'll go ahead and uh, turn him to robot mode first since we're already mostly there. You just kind of bring his legs down like that. Bring a cannon over to the side. Peg them together. Doing in there, Optimus. This is not your video. You had your turn in the spotlight. Or have you? I don't know what order I'm going to upload these in. And then the space warp. Who's this little little minicon or micron that came with Cosmos, Legends Cosmos, back in the day? Um, and it's decoed, it's called Space Warp, but it's decoed to look kind of like the club Astro Train that they made out of Armada Jetfire back in the day. So yeah, a little Space Warp. And there's his robot mode, and he can hang out with these guys. He also has a weapon mode where you flip this peg up and slide the jets up, form a little gun. Which, again, can be held by either the shell or by Megatron himself. And the tank mode is about what you'd expect. Um, it's the same. You bring the arms up, fold the turret in to the top, and peg, the, peg that together. The legs split straight out. The feet fold in. He's got a little... MGTN95 on each side, Megatron 95. You rotate those around, rotate them around, and peg them together. And there's his little tank mode, ingeniously designed so that the turret can still rotate, which is kind of cool. I always like that on that little figure. And again, you can plug Space Warp in. He's got a port up here on top. Looks a little silly, but you can do it. So yeah. There is Pretender Megatron from the Transformers Collectors Club. Get him back in robot mode and we'll do a little posability thing. So he's got the uh, rotating swivel at the neck, ball joint shoulders, ball joint elbows, ball joint hips with a little bit more movement than primes, although not much. Hinge knees that only go about 90 degrees. Get a little bit of movement out of the toe, but it's not really anything to talk right home about. The cannon's posable, you can swip that around. If you want to store it up upright, you can conceivably pop it out of the ball joint and have him hold it by this peg if you want. So, I wish the, these shoulder pieces locked in a little better, but that's... I feel like that's more of just an inherent problem with the mold itself and not anything due to the club release of it. But yeah, there's Megatron Space Warp. Pretender Megatron Space Warp, Transformer Subscription Service 5.0.